So I want to start out by saying this is not a definitive proof, and this is based off of the whole controversial 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc. is equal to negative 1 twelfth. And part of that proof says that 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 is equal to 1 quarter. However, I have a proof that kind of says otherwise, and I don't know if this is correct, and so I'd love you to watch it and tell me if I'm wrong. So I've brought out a chart here. And I want to start with that this is b, this is 2b, because everything multiplied by 2, 3b, 4b, 5b, etc. I noticed a pattern when I drew this out, and that's with the diagonals. We have 1, we have 2 minus 2, we have 3 minus 4 plus 3, we have 4 minus 6 plus 6 minus 4, minus 8 plus 9 minus 8 plus 5. We chart these out, we have 1. 2 minus 2 is 0, but then 3 minus 4 plus 3 is then equal to plus 2. Then this is equal to 0 because the 6 is crossed out, the 4 is crossed out, and then this one is going to be equal to 3 because you have negative 16 plus 9 is minus 7, and then 5 plus 5 is 10, minus 7 is plus 3. One thing you'll notice is that this pattern continues on and on and on and on. Then you'll run into the problem that half of these are excluded, but because it's infinity, you can technically do this. And so essentially what I'm doing is I'm just adding all of these terms together. You add all of these together, you're going to get 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc. And we'll call this A. At this point, we can say that B plus 2B plus 3B plus 4B plus 5b, etc., is equal to a. And then we'll notice we can take out b here. This gives us 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, etc., which is equal to a. So then we get ba is equal to a. So this will give you a couple solutions. We have ba is equal to a. The first is, let's say that a is equal to 0. If a is equal to does not equal 0, then b is then equal to 1. Now according to this proof, this is technically true. This is not really what a regular proof says about this, and I find that a bit disconcerting, because they say that b is equal to 1 quarter, but I've said that it's going to be 1 or all reals, depending on what a is equal to, and vice versa. And so, if you see any flaw in this proof, please leave a comment below and let me know why this is wrong. If not, um, 